<clears throat> we're at Francis Parker School here in Lincoln Park, Chicago, Illinois, United States of America. We're doing uh, orange chicken today. Chopping up our chicken, give it a quick fry, and then uh, Ricardo made an orange sauce. We could toss in the orange gooey sauce. And we're ready to roll. It's exciting around here. This is how they used to do it long, long, long time ago. And that's what we're trying to get back to. Back to Whole Foods, real food, food that's not been processed. We do all the processing here. We get in, we bring in our, our whole chickens, we get our whole meats, we get our whole vegetables, we don't open cans. We do have a can opener and this thing never gets any use. This is the second week of our second year. First year went better than we could have imagined, I think. All of the students, the faculty, the staff, everybody seemed to be very, very excited to see freshly baked goods every day, fresh, delicious food. And one thing I love about this kitchen is the open, open window here and that servery is open all the time and the students, oftentimes you'll be, have your head down working and then you'll look up and there'll be a few kids gathered around checking out what you're doing. And then that gives you the opportunity to talk to them and kind of talk to them a little bit about their food and they can see their lunch being prepared right in front of their very eyes throughout the morning. That was a big change for them. Very few kids would come into the lunchroom. Uh, a lot of kids brought their lunch. It's an open campus, so kids are allowed to go buy their food wherever they want to, and there's a lot of restaurants in the neighborhood. We have a lot of competition. We're trying to keep up with the demand is one of the biggest problems we had last year. We had no idea how popular fresh, delicious food would be. The kitchen is still the same size as it was. 60 years ago. As you can see, the kitchen's pretty tight. There's a lot of close contact. We're all working pretty closely together. We're all good friends here. Today we have bok choy and we have roasted green beans. So they had a big silver island that was probably put in in the 60s. At one point it had a big Coke machine dispenser on it, one of those big milk dispensers. Very large island that took up a lot of space out there. And it's very old and not very practical because we don't, you know, we don't do soft drinks here. There's no Coke machine or anything. So we got rid of that and brought in the smaller round cooler. It's half cooler and half coffee station. There was also a very large cooler also that probably dated back to the 60s. It was big and old and ugly. So they took that out, put in a smaller, more efficient cooler. And we put a tremendous number of students through this small space every day. We had a single door entrance and then a big glass panel. So they took out that glass panel and made it kind of a double door so that we can move more students into the servery. We'll serve about 500 lunches today. When you walk in, your immediate attention is gonna to go to the artwork on the wall done by a local artist named Mikey. Termino in a Portuguese style of wall art. So you walk in, you can look over the menu and decide whether you're gonna take something off the hotline, which changes every day. You can choose to just get a salad off the salad bar. You might wanna meander around the cooler and check out the fresh sushi, the fresh sandwiches, the fresh salads. We have a provincial lunch which is you know cheese and crackers and grapes and these sorts of things. You're always gonna to wanna to stop by the bakery section and check out all of Christine's amazing baked goods that she bakes every day. So after you get your food, you're gonna walk and uh, check out with Donna and she'll pay for your food.